Hello my darlings, welcome to In The Mist, Analia Raven here, and on today's episode we are going to be talking about the Pagan YouTube Challenge of 2018, the letter D, it's the A through Z challenge, and I'm on the letter D right now, and um, today's episode, it's going to talk, we're going to be talking about dance, and as long as I've been studying ritual in different cultures, dance has been a part of ritual for as long as rituals have been celebrated or performed. There's always been um, a culture doing dance, it, different types of dancing. You have the Haitian dances, the African, um, even um, dances here in America, the Native Americans, shamanic dances. We have trance dances, and they're all used to raise energy or set the tone for a ritual and to help whatever intention it is for that ritual to come into manifestation. And dancing within a ritual, whether it's at the beginning, middle, or end of a ritual, always, to me, seems so magical. It always paints the pictures of, when I think of ritual dancing, I always picture um, hooded figures or cloaked figures dancing in a circle around the fire. We have the spiral dance, which um, to me always symbolized fertility of the earth and just celebration and joy. It just, and even if you have dances of sadness, um, there's been a lot of, I've seen a lot of like death dances, and those are very powerful and very potent, and they can bring you to tears. Um, it was recently, well, not recently, but a last year's, at a last year's retreat, there was, um, it was similar to a dance. I don't know if it was called a dance, but we were, there was a song that we were all chanting, and um, there was a woman portraying Santa Muerte, and um, the dance, to me, in my experiences, I just felt, it was, it was about um, the moment of death and um, watching everyone around you die, um, symbolically, obviously, and to me that dance was so profound, it stayed in my memory, and I just, I still feel moved by thinking about it. So it just goes to show that um, dance is a very powerful, even if you're just watching a dance being performed, like a ritual dance being performed, it can still have a powerful impact within a ritual setting or a magical setting. Um, eating my own hair. <laughs> So, Pagan YouTube Challenge, A through Z, the letter D of dance, very powerful to raise up energy within a ritual. And I know this video is quite short, shorter than my usual, but I just got off work, I'm still in scrubs, and I just wanted to share um, a thought with you before I forgot it, that dance is a powerful tool and ritual, and uh, I would suggest even, if you don't use dance in your ritual now, I would suggest you go ahead and try to incorporate any type of movement within your ritual, play some music or sway during um, a moment. You could like sway with the energy of the ritual and see what that does for you. <clears throat> um, and you don't have to be a great dancer. That's not even a requirement within ritual. You just have to move your body to the rhythms of either music that you have or the energy or however you feel called to do so. I would really encourage that. Well, if you have any um, questions or comments, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe and like my channel, and I will have more for you guys up soon. Thank you, and have a blessed day or evening or any type of moment you are in.